テレトビズ2012年12月に東部コネティカット州の小学校で子ども20人を含む26人が死亡した銃乱射事件この日から10年を迎えました、so we Sounds started to happen with the glass shattering and the gunshots, and our teacher started to play it off as the electrical room was right across the hall from our classroom, I believe, and she blamed it on the wires popping. Not long after, the intercom came on, and there was disturbing sounds, teachers crying, I mean, the principal was crying. I think that a lot of people think that they were going to die that day, but I, I had a lot of hope that somehow I was going to make it out, and it was just. Yeah, it was just a lot of just hoping and just like making sure that like I think that I also not can't exactly remember, but I think I also really tried like we all really tried to keep each other calm. しかし、銃規制をめぐる論争は10年経った現在も続き、アメリカ国内では銃乱射事件が後を絶ちません。I still get angry. Every time I read about the latest senseless shooting, whether it is in a church or a synagogue, in a grocery store or on a college campus or in a home or on a city street, I still feel anger. こうした中、アメリカのある企業が開発したのは AI、人工知能を使って銃を探知するシステムです。あ、The、um, active shooter was caught on camera preparing in one of the stairwells. この銃探知システムはさまざまなところに設置されている防犯カメラを利用し AI で銃を保持している人を見つけ出します。So, we've introduced、uh, our technology that will do the monitoring of these security cameras, do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, do it very reliably. So, we want to take,、um, we want to monitor those security cameras so we can use those precious seconds and minutes to set into action an automated. ロシアのウクライナ